Hello and welcome to another stream. My name is Ray and it is Learning Korean Day 223. So thanks for tuning in. Mm, yesterday we started with the vocabulary after finishing up the second exercise for lesson 23. We started the vocabulary of lesson 24 and today we'll just continue. So it's today is a full vocabulary day. We have, uh, I think, 34 words remaining. Obviously, I will not be able to do them all today. So we will have some vocabulary tomorrow, uh, today and then some vocabulary on the next day, which is Monday, of course. So tomorrow on a Sunday, I will, as always, not stream. Not stream Korean, at least. <laughs> okay. So with that, let's go into Memorize and do a little review here. We have 40 words ready to be reviewed. So let's do it. So the five that I learned yesterday will also be in this review. Okay, scissors. Um, Kawi. 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 Purple is, I think, Pora. Podasek. Wow. <laughs> po. Podasek. Yeah. Okay. Huesek. Huesek. Pagat. Pagat. Sontop. Sontop. So far, so good. Readers, okay. Uh, Dokja. 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 Oh, okay, this hard one. Mm. I think it's the second syllable is kyok. The first one is either sang or like sing. Something like this. Or it's something like this. <laughs> One of those. I don't know. If I don't know it, it goes to my difficult words list. Song. Yeah. Song. Okay. I was close with the uh, uh, sang. Song. Song. Yeah. Okay, to be light, not heavy. Um, the second was Biop. Is it Kabiop? Kabiop da? Kabiop da. Yes. Oh, that's one of the words that I've learned uh, yesterday. Um, Kugim, I think. Ku Kurim. Yeah, Kurim. 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 The color green. Hmm. Uh, almost got it. Almost got it. S second. I, I for some reason I always know the second syllable is uh, not this. Uh, damn, I mistyped so much. Mm. But this. Okay. So the first is missing. Uh, Cho. I think Cho. Ch ch cho cho it's, it should be cho I'm pretty sure that's correct chorok sec yeah chorok there we go oh light green was yon yon something sec yondu yondu sec Yonduzek. Ah, uh, competition we had yesterday. Something Jing. And something with H, I think. Ah, but I'm not sure. Second syllable again, I know the second syllable it should be uh, Jeng. Or is it Kejing? 
No. Hmm. Maybe Chong also. Chong. But Chong Jing is uh, war. Damn, I don't know. Kyung Jing. Kyung Jing. Okay. Kyung. Hmm. Kyung Jing. Back of hand, son dung. Son dung. Uh, John Jeng. John. John Jeng. Tung. Tung. Pyongso. Pyongso. Okay, those pol police words were also in the session yesterday, the new words from yesterday for lesson 24. Um, something like... Uh, I think... Yeah, Chal was in there, right? But I think there was a second... Like, again, again, I know the second syllable, but can't remember the first like every time every single time I know the second syllable but not the first Jesus and station was saw <sighs> damn I can't remember Kyung Kyung. okay Kyung. okay Kyung like Kyung competition Kyung Jeng Kyung Chal Song uh, so okay Pora nun. Uh, nun pora. Nun pora. Nun pora. Kurut. Kurut. Peck. Peck. Uh, hua. Hua jom. Peck hua jom. Sugar. Something tongue. <laughs> How is this possible that I always know the second syllable but not the first one? Um, but I can get this. It was also starting with S, pretty sure. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soltang. Soltang. There we go. Okay, curious, to be curious about. Kungum. Can I finally do this? No. Damn, I cannot. Okay, wait, I can, I can. Kungum hada. Kungum hada, got it. Pibu. Pibu. To go and then come back. Tan Yoda, uh, Tan Tan Yo <laughs> Tan Tan Yo Oda Tan Yo Oda. Okay, now, now we got it. Kyong Chal uh, Kwan. 경찰관 관 뉴스 뉴스 경쟁 경쟁 몇몇 몇몇 오케이 교과 서 교과 서 uh, Okay, I got this one as well. 
올바르다. 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 눈. 눈. 적색. 적색. 셔츠. 셔츠. 책부. 아, 작품. 작품. Major in school, okay. 교, 교과 목. 아웨 t 교과 o 목 was a subject in school, right? Subject in school. Uh, 교과 o 목 uh, Yeah, subject in school. Major. Major, I don't know anymore. 전공. Okay, no, I had no idea. Okay, but the gung is there from studying, so that's good. And then John. Okay. John Gung. John Gung, okay. Brown. Kalsek. Kalsek. Police station. Kyong. Chal So. 경찰서 Personality We had that earlier, right? So it's uh, Song Song Kyok Song Kyok yeah. Song Kyok John John Gung John Gung Date. Nalchi. Nalja. Nalja. Nalji. Uh, Nalji was uh, weather. <laughs> okay. Ten more to review. Let's go. Singer. Kasu. Kasu. Light fire. Pool. Pool. Middle school, coding, coding school. That's my mem. Coding school. Uh, coding, co, coding, hakyo. Uh, uh, ko, kyo? No. Code, coding, ko. Damn. Or is this elemental school? Uh... <sighs> Maybe I'm mixing this up. <sighs> Jungakyo. Okay, I was mixing it up. Okay, Jungakyo. What was coding? Jungakyo. Coding school then. I think elemental, uh, elementary school, right? I have to check that. One second. Uh, ko ding. High school. Ah, okay. High school. Coding Hakyo's high school. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a bit weird for me, this school concept, because, or the school words, because I don't have uh, an image in my head for that word, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm in Germany and I don't know the exact 
school system and it, I think it's very different from the German system so I don't really I, I don't know what a middle school is I don't know uh, at what age the pupils are what the classes are called I, I know nothing about the middle school I don't know what I know elementary school is I think the first one then I guess middle school comes and then high school and then I guess college but I have no idea like what the classes are called or what age the pupils are so I don't really have a real image in my head if, if I see a um, a person in front of me I, I couldn't tell yeah is this high school is this middle school I don't know okay um, desk check sang I think right check sang Check. Check. Sang. Check. Sang. Wind. Param. Param. Mom. Mom. Ooh, dawn. I know Bjok is in there. One Bjok. Um. Something Björk. I know Björk. I know 100% Björk is there. <sighs> oh wait, it was... Ah, the mem was a, a new, new, new wall. Ah, yeah, yeah, when you start the day with dawn, uh, there's a new wall every time you start a new day or something like that. Like a new wall. So new is um, either Shin... Okay, and I also had se. Se biok. Se. Okay. I I can't really remember in what other words I had say, but I I know for this word I think I learned it. There was some specific vocabulary. I think that one that I just learned, um, where the mem told me se stands for new. I had, I didn't have say in, in a lot of words so far, I think, maybe, hmm, no, I don't know, okay, anyways, uh, Jungakyo is middle school, Jungakyo. counter for type of thing, starting with J, okay, so I have uh, Kaji, and I have uh, John Yu, I think. John Yu. Okay, Jong Yu. Jong Yu. Jong Yu. Jong Yu. Okay. Four more. Vacuum cleaner. Okay. Chong So. Chong So Gi. Chong So Gi. Chong So Gi. Chong So Ada to clean. Mm, to turn on Kida Cord Corda <sighs> Or is it actually Kujida? No, I think it's oh, is it I thought Ko Ah, Kyo. Yeah, Kyo. Okay, it's Kyo. Hi, Kaya. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, late. To be late. Nutta. Nutta. To put on clothes. Okay. I have like two words for changing clothes. I have one to put on clothes. I have one to, to remove clothes, I think. And I'm getting these mixed up. I, I, I know I have Ipta. Ipta. Okay, Ipta is the correct one. Then I have uh, uh, Pyongyonghada. That is, I think, to change. The other to change is something like uh, Baguda, I think. Let me let me check that. You know, I want to want to make sure I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, then the other one I have is Pyonghada. K. 
Okay, looks very good, looks very good. Okay, that's to make a change, not to change clothes. Oh, okay. I understand it at uh, to change in like clothes. <laughs> okay, see, good that I check this. I guess it's not nothing related to clothes at all. Okay, okay, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense then. Uh, Ibda is to put on. Oh, what? Bakuda is also not related to clothes? What? <laughs> Damn, I always had these clothes in my head. Then what's the difference between those? Exchange, ex exchange, replace. Okay, so exchange, replace. Something for something, so... Yeah, a, a replacement changing in this one. But he is also from something to something alter. But this seems to be like a more general changing of a situation or so. And this is replacing one with something else, maybe. So then I I, I, I thought I know two words for changing clothes. Uh, it, it turns out I don't have a single word for changing clothes. <laughs> well. Um, and what is to remove clothes? I think I had that word as well. I, I, but I, I don't even remember the English one, how I learned it. I, I, I to totally didn't learn to remove clothes. I also didn't learn to, to strip or so. Maybe it was to remove clothes. Hmm. But yeah, I have no idea. I will copy this. Oh, to change clothes. Okay, you're telling me to change clothes. Kal, uh, kara, ibda. Oh, ibda. Okay, to change one's clothes. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, ibda. I mean, that's obviously this one to wear something. And what was kora? And why is there an A? Like... Uh... I... <laughs> like both of these seems like a, seem like a, a verb. But there's a space in between, so... This one is by itself. And there's another verb afterwards. How can you have two verbs after each other? Ah, okay, there's no space in this one here. Okay, without... Okay, that makes way more sense for me. <laughs> okay. So this sh seems to be a compound verb then, right? So... Hmm... Maybe cut it up? Split up, okay. Um, not bad, not bad. Maybe... Calda? I think cut it up is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Divide... Cut it up. To split, yeah, but it doesn't really make sense, right? Mm. It could also be something like karada to grind. Mm. To ch ah, okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it means we have another word for change. I mean this 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 is a so I, I learned these two words for changing and I thought it was clothes. Now I learn another word to changes, but it gets combined with ibda to make to change clothes. Uh, okay. 
it's more like replace okay so we have three different words for changing right for for change then we have one to wear and if we combine this one and this one so basically these two if we combine them we get to change clothes which is okay 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 got it so it's like this okay hmm. hello red blue green welcome to the stream uh, the first two are basically the same but the second one is Chinese origin oh those these those two are the same okay okay Mm, do you have an information about what is used more so what I took away from from I don't know what it was like last stream or the second last stream and I also forgot how who said it maybe it was you Kaya I'm not sure uh, I learned that the words of Chinese origin are more commonly used in formal situations and in informal situations you use the Korean words more. Is that is that correct? Hayo. <laughs> is 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 Hayo from Red Bull Green Hayo is that is that just hi? But it's a valid Korean word. <laughs> Yeah, I heard Bakuda more often. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> these these little I want to check this word always take way longer than expected. <laughs> Look, my my memorizes even even went on pause mode because I took so long. Okay, a box. Something jar. Like Sangja or so. Sangja. Sangja? Sangja. Next. Homework. Something suk. Suk. Sukak. J. Suk J. 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 Suk. J. J. Ah, this maybe. This. Yeah, there we go. Suk, yeah. I, I mistyped. I, I, I said Suk in the very beginning, but I, I meant it was in you, but I mistyped to Suk. Okay, face. All cool. Damn. Is it not all cool? Maybe. All cool. All cool, not not. Ulgul, Ulgul. Oh. Okay, to hide an object. Oof. Damn. That is one of the words from the passive lesson, the hardest lesson ever. From all the lessons I did so far. Uh, to hide an object. I can't remember this one. Sumgida. Sumgida. Okay. Sumgida. To be black. Gamata. Gamata. Internet slang lesson. H and N. Equals high. Ah, wow, okay. So if I just say this one, um, need to find the right. Just like this is high. 
They don't write the rules, okay. Bye bye. Ah, so the. So it's. This one is the. Long form, the normal form of bye bye. Okay. I see. Mm hmm. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, memory Kiok. 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 I, I learned another word for memory that I can't remember now, but thankfully it was not that one. <laughs> Smell was. Nep. Me map. Nem, 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 nem. Was it not nem? Pretty sure it was nem. Nemse. 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 Market. Something jung. Uh, su jung. Muljang, Munjang. Chi Jang, Chi Jang, Chi Jang. Okay, Kandanada, Kandanada. Nemse. Nemse. Shi Jang. Shi Jang. Sungida. Sungida. Okay. That's it for the review. Hi, Flo. Welcome to the stream. Okay, 24 new words, let's go. We have five words learned already. We have 34 to go. I, I hope to do them in two days, so today and one more. So I guess uh, probably 15 today or 14 today. Uh, 15, it's 15. 15 today and 19 on Monday. That's the plan. Let's go. 15 words. Okay, easy. That's that's a free a free word. We already learned this one and the jar is very common for and for these uh, yeah, like the persons who are doing an action. It's often uh, jar or sa. So Kyung Jeng Kyung Jeng Ja. P. Oh P that's also a free free word. I love those those free words. Uh, because we already had P Bu and I remember one of you one of you uh, probably Yeah Kaya or Flo, one of you told me uh P Bu when I learned skin, P Bu one of you told me P means blood. I think it was flow if I remember correctly. But was pretty long ago, it was like two months ago maybe. P boo. Kyongjengja. Kyongjengsa. P. P. Kudu. I already have a word for shoes, <laughs> which is Shinbai, right? Shinbai, Shinbai, Shinbai. Yeah, 
Shin Baya. Nice. Kudu. Okay. Kudu. Mogyok. Oh, Mogyok. Mogyok. Neck. Okay, neck. You relax your neck. Okay, okay. Yok neck. Yok, muk yok, muk yok. Okay, pretty easy, pretty easy. Let's go. Uh, kudu. Kudu. Muk yok. Muk yok. Oh, you guys have a lot of chat there. Why did you two study Korean? I love languages. I like learning. When I graduated university, I missed learning, so I got into Korean through a friend. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny how different people are, you know, a lot of people, maybe not when they graduate university, but definitely in school and so on, they just, they are always like, uh, I hate learning and so on, learning is so boring, well, why do I need this and so on, but I think, well, one reason when people grow older, I think they enjoy learning more, they can like, appreciate the learning more and also it's it, it varies from person to person of course so yeah um, and then I met someone in university who told who told me about a funny Korean class and I joined and Directly felt in love with. Wait, wait a second, Flo. You had a Korean class in your university, which was funny as well. <laughs> what What do you mean with funny Korean class in university? Not a single one because of K-pop. That's rare. Yeah, <laughs> red, blue, green. Uh, the same is f true for me. I also learn Korean not for K-pop. And I know in all those like Korean language Discord servers, they are always flooded with K-pop fans. So it's pretty nice. It it really fits well that here on my stream, when I don't really follow K-pop, there are some other pr uh, people, fellow Korean learners who also don't learn Korean because of K-pop. That's good. <laughs> I like it. Uh, when I started learning Korean, I didn't even know what K-pop is. <laughs> I knew where Korea is on the globe, that's it. <laughs> Flo, uh, you're German and if you know where Korea is on the globe and you know that there's a South and North Korea that are different, that's always a good, like that's already more than average for the average German. <laughs> I feel like the average German has no idea about uh, geographies uh, or uh, geo ge ge geography, geography, uh, and especially on the Asian continents, just all China. <laughs> All sport classes were full because it was too late, but the Korean class had one one f free spot, you mean? Okay. That friend of mine who introduced it to me is into K-pop, but I like the language more than the music. <laughs> nice. It was destiny. <laughs> ah, seat. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay, uh, Red Blue Green, since you are a bit deeper into K-pop and I have no idea about K-pop, uh, is K-pop, are, are the K-pop lyrics as simple as uh, English pop music lyrics? Like completely without 
or like many songs many english chart songs are just super stupid lyrics and like so easy lyrics and it's all about just like the, uh, a catchy catchy uh, hook so that it stays in your ear and uh, the lyrics don't really matter the lyrics are so simple like a five year old can write them Yeah, I, I can see that the, the the grandma is not formal. Yeah, I, I mean just in general, like the the complexity of K-pop lyrics compared to uh, complexity of English pop song lyrics. I take the audio from K dramas and listen as the audiobook podcast. Does that work? Are, are K K dramas? Uh, do they work without a picture? Can you understand what's going on? Are there not many scenes where you need the picture uh, to understand what's going on? Well, okay, we have a lot of discussion for sure. <laughs> okay. Ide. So I will continue here. Blood is P. 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 Guru. Kugyongada. Kipta. Kudu. 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 Okay, the words so far are very easy. Uh, Mokyok, bath. Mokyok. Mokyok. Ponho. Ponho, okay. Slightly, slightly harder word. Ponho. John Huagi Ponho Not really any relation there Pon hmm, Ponho No idea Kyongjeng Ja competitor Kyongjeng Sa Wait, did the audio just say uh, Kyongjeng Sa? With an S instead of a J. Okay, number Ponho. Ponho. Mokyok. Um, yok. Ah, I mistyped the first one. Ah, damn it. Mo. Wow. Okay. Mok. Yok. Mokyok. Okay, um, Kyong Jeng Ja. Kyong Jeng Sa. Kyong Jeng Sa. She's saying Kyong Jeng Sa. Damn it. I got my first book fully in Korean recently, but I'm still stuck on the first page. <laughs> well, th that must be frustrating, yeah. I started learning Italian after knowing Spanish before and I could read more than more in Italian after three months than Korean after three years. <laughs> yeah, European languages are much easier for someone who is already quite fluent in two European languages. Mm. Little fun fact about that. I actually participated in an Italian language course before. <laughs> but that was in my elementary, sc uh, elementary school days because in my elementary sc uh, school we had, we had some uh, Italians. You know, uh, when I was in school it was like elementary school like 1996 97 98 somewhere around that um that was a time where there were a lot of uh, italians around my town uh, by the way i'm living in i was living in wolfsburg 
Wolfsburg is the city of Volkswagen, the, the main Volkswagen uh, plant. And a lot of, uh, we had a lot of Italians coming here in the 80s, I think, uh, to work for Volkswagen. So they had, there were a lot of Italian kids when I was at elementary school as well. Um, so in the school, they had an Italian language course. And it just turned out that most of my friends were just those Italian people, those Italian kids. Uh, I, I pretty much never had German friends. I always had friends from other nations, to be honest. But back then it was the, all the Italian kids. Mm. And they all went to that Italian course in school. So after the normal school, so after all the normal subjects, they always went uh, to that Italian thing for like one and a half hours. And since we were doing everything together and we were always playing and we were playing after school anyway, so I had to wait for them anyways to play. I just went with them to the Italian course. <laughs> uh, so I went there for like, I don't know, not, not long, maybe half a year or so. Then I stopped again. But yeah, fun times. <laughs> Of course, I don't know anything about it anymore, except uh, those insults and so on. That's what little kids are teaching you first, of course. And from the real language course, I don't know anything. Oh, wow, there's a replying function on on Twitch chat now, I see. That's nice. Okay. Italian sounds nice. <laughs> oh. Okay. P. P. I also know all the course words in Italian thanks to my ex, uh, Italian ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. I also know all the course words. <laughs> Vaffanculo and so on. Bastardo de minchia. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I I was since since literally all my all my best friends were Italian back then and we played every day after school. There was like a very big I, I don't even know where you can find this nowadays, but they they lived in a in a house like in a, in a flat where multiple families were there. And in the backyard, there was just a huge, perfect, uh, like grass area where you could perfectly play football on it. It was crazy. Like such a big area in the middle of the city. It is insane if I think about that. Back then I never thought about that. But now that I think about it, such a big area of just grass in the middle of like buildings. That's crazy. Um, anyways, so we played there every day, and since it was right next to the the home of my one uh, Italian or actually two two Italian best friends, they were living l like right next to each other there. Um, I always went there to play with them, and so obviously. I also, like, I ate there every time. I, I went there after school and then we played a bit and then we ate there. And, and the mother, the Italian mother, uh, made a lot of uh, dinner for me as well. I, I, I ate dinner there very, very often. <laughs> was was fun. And when, when we were eating dinner, uh, inside of the home there was always Italian TV running next to me I was always sitting on that place where the, the TV was literally right next to my face <laughs> and it was always uh, Rai Uno Rai Uno is one of the most popular Italian uh, broadcasting stations yeah there was Rai Uno, Rai Due it was fun <laughs> yeah, that's my, my childhood. A lot of Italian in my childhood. 
Okay, anyways. So I will do the next word now. <laughs> Ten minutes for one word here. Uh, ponho, number. Ponho. Kyongjengja, competitor. Kyongjengsa. She's saying Kyongjengsa. Guys, guys and girl, uh, yeah, guys in general. Um, don't tell me you don't hear the sa. It's clearly a sa and not a ja. I want to hear. I, I want to see it in the chat. I want to see that you can hear the sa. Come on, guys, do it. P. <laughs> no, no, Flo. <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. No, <laughs> don't do it, Flo. <laughs> I will ban you from the chat <laughs> if you say this now. <laughs> Okay, here. Here's the word. I will click it now, okay? Listen to this word. Listen to the audio sample. And tell me the last syllable you hear, okay? I will press enter now. 경쟁사. 목요. Tell, tell me in the chat what last syllable you hear. Okay. Kaya is not getting banned. That's good. Floor, okay, <laughs> yeah, the triple A, like, my finger is hovering over the ban button, but, okay. And red, blue, green also not banned, okay, good. <laughs> Mogyok. Mogyok. Bath. Mogyok. Kudu. Kudu. P. P. Mogyok. Mogyok. <laughs> it was close. The triple A in the ya, yeah, you can interpret that as, yeah, okay, I'm just saying it because you want me to. But I believe you. Uh, Kyong. Cheng Ja. Kyong Jeng Sa. Pon. Pon Ho. Pon Ho. P. P. <sighs> My writing is still so bad. Kudu. Kudu shoes. Kudu. So, uh, can you tell me what's the difference between uh, Shin Bal and Kudu is? Is it again a pure Korean Sino Korean thing or is there an actual difference between Shin Bal and Kudu? Okay, Ponho number. Ponho. I learned Kudu for dress shoes. Kudu are Western style shoes. What are Western style shoes? I didn't know there's a difference in, in shoe style. Well, red, blue, green, you're coming from StarCraft, you know? StarCraft has a very special relationship to Korean shoe brands, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Kudu is like, like dress shoes. Okay, so you are agreeing with Flo there. Leather shoes. Like uh, okay, I see, I see. I could do so, like uh, more uh, elegant shoes, I guess. Sandals and socks are Western style. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Kaya. I will do it. Should I Google it or should I neighbor it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Shin Bal. We have the, the sneakers and so on, the normal shoes, I will call it. Shinbal Pam. 
Pam? What is Pam? Oh, oh. Is Pam like something like a controversy or so? Or drama? <laughs> Farm. That was Sonic's. That was the name of Sonic's brand. Shh. Ah, right. I think I remember something like that. Now that you say it, but uh, the shoes itself were called uh, Spenu. Spenu. The store that sold it. Okay, I see. I see. So uh, Kaya and Flo, if you're completely lost what we are talking about here, <laughs> just very, very quick summary. Um, like Brood War or Starcraft is a very old game and uh, obviously after 20 years the activity of the game goes pretty down. But then there was a big like revival because there was some, a person uh with the nickname of sonic that is this guy here or this guy um he was always a fan and a caster of starcraft matches and he he said he wants to revive starcraft and he will do what it takes to do that and then he just founded a shoe brand called Esbenu. like spenu is uh, he founded this uh shoe brand in korea and this shoe brand was one of the most popular shoe brands at that point, I think. He he grew it from, like, he founded it and grew it so incredibly big so that he had, like, so much money to revive the StarCraft scene alone in Korea. It It was a crazy story if you think about it. But then, after, like, three or five, four years, um, it came to light that he was actually... He committed fraud. He didn't pay his uh, manufacturers and so on. And uh, I think then he got into jail, to be honest. So that's that's really a, a very... Uh... I don't know, Kaya, do you know this brand? Do you know es Spenu? If you are... I mean, you... I I don't don't know how big this brand was, but I think it was the biggest shoe brand in Korea at some point. Not sure. Uh, did it here? Founded here. He founded this to revive the StarCraft scene. Think about this. He had the goal: I want to revive StarCraft because he was in love with StarCraft his whole life. He wanted to revive StarCraft. And he founded this company for it and grew it into a million business and then revived StarCraft alone. It was crazy, a crazy story, really. Here, yeah, right, I remember. Ah, uh, here, here, you can see it even. Brood War. Brood War is StarCraft. Brood War is uh, the expansion pack of StarCraft. He was the main sponsor of the uh, Brood War Sonic League. Sonic was his nickname in StarCraft. <laughs> He also sponsored League of Legends uh, and StarCraft 2. He even he even had a major sponsorship deal with Manchester United for football. Like for soccer. I think the players of, of Manchester United um were wearing Espenu shoes in their in their uh, like private time for half a year or so but then uh, it all came to light that he committed fraud and so on it's really a crazy story crazy story here 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 it is uh spenu and football team manchester united agreed uh, to terms of sponsorship making uh, spenu the official footwear brand for the team think about it a, a korean footwear brand is sponsoring one of the biggest soccer clubs in the world that's crazy alone and he did that after just founding the company half a year or one year before that it's 
is so crazy. Here, he uh, and yeah, here now it it uh, went downhill. He was sponsoring celebrity. He, yeah, he, it was everywhere. This uh, Sp Spenu was everywhere in that in those two years. Here, eight eight point two million per year, just spending for sponsorships. Eight point two million, but failing to pay its manufacturers. <laughs> well. I mean, he did revive the StarCraft scene. I guess just the manufacturer suffered for that. Yeah. Embezzled 7.1 million. I'm, I'm still not sure what happened to him, if he's in, in jail or not. But anyways, that was a lot of... Uh, a lot of talking and backstory again so th this is really a nice story and uh, for this reason the the whole starcraft scene especially the korean starcraft scene has a very special relationship with shoes <laughs> you could see like it was everywhere in every like commercial between the starcraft cast you always wear uh, saw these uh, spanu shoe a a advertisements it was crazy. Yeah, okay. I just realized the phoenix looks, uh, the, the logo looks like a phoenix. Yeah, the logo, it looks like a phoenix and it was also stolen, by the way. <laughs> Here, wait, it's Benu stolen logo. Uh, Wings team logo. Ah, looks like I can't find it now. But it's definitely stolen. It's 100% stolen. There was a logo that exactly looks like it. Just uh, like just like mirrored uh, horizontally or so. I, I, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy that I don't see it here. Oh, the Wings logo. Wow. Wait a second. Spenu? Wait, this is a Dota 2 team. Oh, come on. Where is it? Here? <laughs> this is almost the same as well. Almost. I mean, it, it is a, a pretty popular like symbol, this, this phoenix thing. So I guess it's not too here. <laughs> Spenu CEO on the run. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man, this guy. But he did rife the StarCraft scene for many years. It, it's cr it was crazy. And then StarCraft Remastered got released. So now it's revived anyways. But that was a crazy, crazy time in StarCraft. Um. Sites tl.net. Let, let me try this. Site tl.net. Sonic suit your fraud. Uh, did, did, did. No, I can't really. Has stolen shoes behind his back. Yeah, probably somewhere in this whole thread. This is the whole thread where uh, it, it got public. That's. Like Sonic, he was he was literally the the most loved person in the whole StarCraft scene at that point, especially in Korea. Like everyone loved him, and then it it came to light that he got sued for fraud, that he was not paying, and that his whole construct, his whole company was built on fake stuff. You know, it was a crazy thing back then. Can I can I see this? Aya here. Okay, okay. Here we have uh, the logo thing. Sadly, there was no source. Somewhere in the thread, there's a source as well. But you can see this is all, all already very similar, right? So the left one is the Spenu logo. <laughs> there's also another shoe brand called uh, So Benu. <laughs> nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah. Okay, anyways. 
he was our Robin Hood, that's true, yeah. So still a lot of people love him because he did so much for the StarCraft scene. <laughs> he took the Chinese approach. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, we have five viewers. <laughs> I wonder which two other people uh, came here and they come to the stream. They see like learning Korean and we are talking about some some shoe brand and StarCraft here. Kind of weird. Kind of weird moment to pop into the stream, but thanks for watching, guys. I am poor. Okay, we have some fellow StarCraft brother. Uh, do you play Brood War tonight? Um, yes. But I'm not sure when, because I am coaching someone. I have a, like a coaching meeting with someone in one hour. And depending on how long I coach him, like will be like two hours or three hours i'm not sure uh, after that i will probably stream if it's not too late already i'm not sure but i will probably stream so let's say around between 10 and 11 p.m probably more like 11 p.m uh, european time 11 p.m cet uh, who has time to make original stuff when starcraft needs need, needs saving as a <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's probably what it came down to but well, it was really crazy when he announced that he wants to really grow. He was like hosting l like these little tournaments for amateurs. And then one day he just announced, hey guys, I want to grow this so big to completely support the whole scene by myself. And then he just did it. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, with that last look into memorize here where was i okay the orange bar is almost fill let's let's fill it up kudu kudu uh ponho ponho kudu kudu ponho ponho Mokyok, Mokyok, Bogyo. And now we are done. 25 minutes for five words. That's learning speed for you. Okay. Yeah, so not quite the 15 words that I planned to learn, but we got a lot of talking and a lot of funny stories today <laughs> some backstories about the learning motivations and some more about Korean shoe brands okay so we have 10% uh, 10 words learned and we need uh, 29 so again today is Saturday tomorrow is Sunday I will not stream Korean learning so next stream for Korean will be on Monday and on Monday I will probably not be able to learn all the remaining words because yeah 29 is definitely too much for one day but I will try to learn uh, yeah at least 15 for sure 15 100 percent and then I have uh, 14 left maybe I will also do 20 and then we have uh, only nine left for Tuesday yeah and I would say that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. And I hope I see you on Monday. So, bye bye. Annyeong.